Hello, everybody. Here we are. It's Wednesday. It's another week of drawing together, and I'm just glad that you're here and we can do this and enjoy this time. So today is Earth Day. Isn't that nice? I thought we'd do a nice Earth Day themed drawing today. Uh, you might notice that I have a little bit of scruff going here. This is left over from a very lazy weekend with the family. You know, I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. Shall we do some drawing? Yes, we should do that instead of me telling jokes. Are you ready? We're going to start with a you draw it. And this is what we always do together where I draw something and then you follow along. All you need is a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, a stick. It does not matter. And we're going to do a nice Earth Day themed illustration, like I said before. And it starts with a line, just like this. I know you can all do that. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Doesn't matter at all. Now, I'm going to come down at an angle like that. About the same length, maybe a little shorter. Now, remember those big C curves? Well, here comes one. Now, watch how it goes. I'm going to C curve out this way and then down that way. And so it's kind of straight at the top and then it C curves down. All righty. Now, next step, here we go. I'm gonna start about halfway from where that C curve is and watch, I'm gonna take that line and then kind of swoop it in and connect it right there. So it's almost like you've got a nice capital letter C right here, okay? All righty. Now, next step, I'm just gonna draw a straight line again, horizontally, and it looks like this. A little one like that. So it's maybe about the same length as this line right here, okay? Or the, the distance between this section and this section, right? Now again, remember when you're doing these drawings, it's perfectly fine for you to do something that looks a little different from me. Totally fine. Don't put pressure on yourselves to get it to look exactly the way mine looks. That's not the point. Your drawing is gonna look good no matter what. These drawings are designed that way and that's how they work. All right, now, here comes another little C curve. Are you ready? I'm gonna start by moving the, the pen down, following this line, and then curve out this way and stop. And you notice I stopped about the same distance as where this is because then I'm gonna connect these lines just like that. Hey, everybody with me so far? Look at the chat, see how we're doing here. All righty. Hello, hello, hello. Wow. Nice to see some repeat viewers. Very nice. Thanks for hanging out, folks. All right. Now, here we go. I'm going to draw a little diagonal line out this way. And I'm going to come down to the bottom of that line and do the same thing out that way. Okay, a little bit of symmetry there. Anybody have a guess about what we're drawing? I always like to ask early on to see if anybody has any guesses. Remember, I did give you a clue, and I told you this was an Earth Day themed drawing. So, all right, you mull that over. Ready? Next step. I'm going to draw a line out like this. Straight out for a while, and then I'm going to curve it, right? And then I'm going to curve it some more and stop about there. Now, the same thing up here. I go straight out for a while. Then I'm going to start to curve it down to meet that area there. Now we might have some clues about what this is, just judging by the shape that we've drawn. All right, I'll move this guy down here so he's more in the center of the screen. You can see him more clearly. Next step. C curve out and another C curve right next to it, a little shorter. All right, someone said a bird, a boat. Gonna be a sea captain, said Chris, nice. Yeah, I did that a lot last week. All right, next step. This line right here, I'm gonna carry it up. And oh my gosh, look at that, all the way around. That's a big one. 
It's like a big hook. We go up and around. And now I'm going to come up from this side, following this line straight up again. Up. And then I just curve it up to meet that one. Now this line here, that's that's a horizontal line. Watch this. I'm going to pull it out over here and then up and just tuck it right there. What do you suppose this is? B! Yes, everybody's got it. B, 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 B. Well done. A foot. <laughs> Not a foot. It's a B. All right, next step. Coming straight out this way and down. All right, that's one little B leg. And this line we have that's moving up and down here. I'm going to come straight out and do another little B leg like that. And one right next to it right there. Okay. How about a big I for this B? Ready? Here we go. That's it. Nice, big, happy iris right there. And we can't forget the stinger, so I'm just going to make a little line like that. That's it. Just a line. Very simple. And bees have stripes, right? So we're going to put a line here. You can make these nice wide stripes. I like to do a big one like this. There's one. And I'm going to draw another here. And this is where you get to do some coloring. All right? So first, what I do is I color in this area here. Then I'm going to color in this area right here. Okay, just color that all in. You don't have to color the bee. Not necessary, but I like to color these areas. I just think it adds a little punch, you know? Nice to have some darks in there, some dark shapes. Here's one stripe. I'm just going to color that in. You know, if you want to give your bee more stripes, who says you can't, right? Lots of ways to draw these bees. You can draw them shorter. You can draw them longer. You can make the wings bigger or smaller. It really doesn't matter, does it? The basic shapes are all there. You're going to have a bee no matter what. That's what I like to do for the coloring. Now, if you have some crayons or some markers, right, or colored pencils, you could add some yellow in there, right? Maybe a little bit of light blue or some gray for the wings or maybe a little violet. Now, I think for this bee, because we're celebrating Earth Day and bees are very important for the world, as we know, for our Earth, it'd be nice to draw a little environment for this bee. So all I'm going to do is make a triangle down here like this, but I'm going to make the top of it round. All right, that's step one. So it's like a triangle, the letter V basically, with a little C curve on top. All right, a triangle with one rounded side. Next, I'm just gonna do this. Come out right here and do another little shape. And then come out next to it and do another one like that. I come over here and do the same thing on this side. Okay. Then, I'm going to add a little circle up here, a little half circle. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to come out and down, out and down, and then out and down and out and down. You see what we did? We drew a flower. You can make your flower any shape you like. Lots of ways to do it. You could always do this. That could be a flower, right? Doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you another way to do it. A kind of fancy way. And then I'm just going to put a stem down there. And one leaf. And then watch this. For grass, I'm going to do this. C curve and C curve. And then a line. Another one, a little smaller. And a line. Come all the way over here, maybe do a C curve like that, and a line, maybe a couple lines, and then another C curve, and then connect it like that. So what am I doing? I'm suggesting that there's grass down there. 
but I'm not drawing a whole bunch of lines to do it, right? And if we want to show that this bee is flying through the air, well, you can do a couple things. You could do action lines like this. That's one way to do it. I love that Tantan Belgian comic squiggly line, so I'll do that. I just love that. That always makes me happy. Okie dokie. So let me check the chat here for just a second. See what we got for comments. We have, uh, oh, someone said lightning bug. That's an interesting idea. You know, I guess if you were not to add the stripes, uh, maybe make the wings a little bigger and remove the stinger. There's lots of things you could do with this to make it a different kind of a bug, if you ask me. All righty. So there is a bee and he says, look, I've got a nice flower to land on. Fantastic. And that is our Earth Day themed illustration for today. So happy Earth Day, everybody. And thanks for drawing along with me. What a nice thing to do on Earth Day. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of shrinking powder. And while I'm doing this, I want you to start thinking about an animal and an activity. And I'm gonna check the chat and see what ideas you have. I just need an animal doing something. And it could be as crazy as you want, all right? So if you have a polar bear who's busy playing ping pong, that's totally fine, all right? And I'm gonna look at all these suggestions and then I'm gonna draw one of them right here for you. And that is always one of my favorite things to do on this show. And please, if you like the bee that you drew, go ahead and take a picture of it. And you can always post it to me on Twitter, at Kyle T. Webster. Um, and I'd love to take a look at it. If you have another way to send it to me, I'd love to see it. You could always uh, look up my email. If you go to kyletwebster.com, you can email it to me. I just really like to see what everybody draws. I think those are just so fun to look at. So thanks for sharing those like you've been doing. All righty. Time for an animal and activity. So I'm gonna look at the chat and see what kind of suggestions we have for me to draw today. Uh, lobster playing cards, kittens playing basketball, sloth doing karate with nunchucks, holy cow. A polar bear cooking, turtle break dancing. We did a turtle last week, but I'll hold on to that one. I like that. A penguin jumping rope, interesting. Penguin jumping rope, that's a tricky one, but I bet I could figure it out. A bungee jumping toucan. We also did a toucan last week. That's cool. A gorilla reading a book while lifting weights. Wait a second, Chris. I think you suggested that last week. Did you not? Did you not? The only issue with gorillas is I don't know how to draw gorillas. I need to look them up. Flamingo playing tennis. These are all really funny. Crocodile chewing bubble gum. A shooting duck. I'm not sure what that means, but I won't do anything with violence. I'm not. I, that's the only thing I'll say. Well, no, no guns. No. Um, no knives or anything like that. But uh, if the duck were doing something else, I'd consider it. Uh, let's see, what else? We have a mouse drawing on a tablet using Photoshop. What about a mouse using a mouse in Photoshop? That'd be funny. Um, all right, I'm gonna look through these again. There are a lot of good ones here and see what just really jumps out at me. Uh, kittens and basketball, that's just so adorable. I might have to do the kitten playing basketball. I just, I really like that. A raccoon eating donuts. Our raccoons, by the way, on our back deck would definitely eat some donuts very happily if we left them out there. All right, well folks, lots of great suggestions. A ladybug doing jitterbug. Um, dachshund eating potato chips. These are all really fun. A platypus teaching a, a tutorial. Are you calling me a platypus? Is that what that means? Cat with laser beams. All right, I think I'm gonna do the basketball playing kittens because I just think that's a lot of fun. Now, as usual, I start with a sketch, right? So I use a light color and here's what we do. We think, okay, what are the big shapes here? What's my composition? What's the position of the cat or the kitten? Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. I'm trying to think about angles, right? I'm thinking about angles. And I kind of want to see this kitten kind of running, all right, while dribbling. So I'm gonna first think, well, kittens have bigger heads than cats, right? It's gotta be a bigger headed cat with big, cute ears. So we gotta get those ears nice and big. And I think that's about kind of the shape I want for that kitten. All righty, that's about right. And I want this kitten to be running. 
So let's see. I think um, I'm going to have this arm doing the dribbling. Okay. And then I'm going to have the leg maybe up, this leg up facing us. And the other leg, I want to kind of do this S curve kind of an action. And then the other leg down here. So have the, the ball out here on this side. And I'm going to have to give this kitten some cute little basketball high tops. I just think that's funny. And some big baggy shorts. Now this other arm has to be going back and out for balance. Okay. And we'll do the shirt kind of flipping out this way. There we go. I'm gonna move that ear over here put the other ear this way. So one of the things when you're sketching is you have to be willing to change your mind about stuff. You have to be willing to be flexible. So you see how I just moved the position of that kitten's head? Well, that's because I wanna make sure that I'm getting the best possible composition, the best shapes in there that I really think will work for this drawing. There. And we're gonna have some some shoes there and some shoes here. Maybe some shoelaces flying away like that. All right, and there's that shirt. Big baggy basketball shorts. Oversized, right? And then we'll have that ball out here. Get that ball where we need it. There's the ball. And now I have to think about the kitten's face. So I'm kind of drawing like a center line for myself, the center, the vertical center of the face. That helps me to see that I need to put an eye on one side and an eye on the other, and it can help me with my, see this? I draw another line like that. It can help me place things like this. So one eye and another eye. And a little kitten mouth. Some whiskers there and some whiskers there. And I think that's pretty good for a sketch. And then I can also erase away some bits that I don't think are really helping me out to see what I need to see here, right? Make that arm a little longer. And there you go. There is my sketch. And what does it look like? I'm trying to think what the lines on a basketball look like. I think they look like that. That's sort of what I'm remembering. Is that right? Let me know in the chat if I got that all wrong. All right, let's see. Um, thanks, Paco. All right, here we go. What comes next? So once I get that sketch done, as you know, it's time for me to use darker lines and draw with more confidence, okay? And so what I do is I'll just take that sketch and make it a little lighter. Now, if you're drawing at home, what you can do is you can erase with a pencil a little bit, just wipe some of those lines away and just soften it, lighten it up a little bit. And you can draw right on top of it with the same pencil again. All right, whoops, sorry about that. Ready, here we go, folks. And a one, and a two. Here we go. Kitten basketball drawing time. This is a fun one. I love it, great suggestion. And these are always a challenge for me. They really push me to try and see what do I know how to do? Oh my gosh, it's fun to be challenged. Right? All right, here we go. 
There's a little kitten face right there. And let's carry this up and over for that ear. And then around this way. And there's that other ear. Little hairs in there. Okie dokie. Happy kitten. But it's an action kitty. This kitty will take you to school on the court. Let me tell you what. Don't be fooled. Really, really cute. But this kitten uses it to its advantage, right? Makes you go, oh, and then just takes you to school on the court. Big, funny looking shorts. Look at those big shorts, right? Big, big, big. Too baggy for this little kitten. There's one leg coming out here. Put little socks on the kitten. And then here's that one shoe. All righty. The underside of the shoe, like a little darker, right? And then the other leg, which is bent, right? As the kitten runs, what you're going to see is the top of that other shoe, right? Because that's what you'd see, right? From this angle. Think about how things change when you draw them from a different angle, right? And now all we have left to do is this other arm. And there's that ball. So I can slow down a little bit here, trying to draw a circle. That's always a bit of a tricky thing. Whoa, whoops. Hang on a second. There we go. You know, I try not to make mistakes on this show, but occasionally you gotta use that magic undo button, right? And we're dribbling that ball. We do a little shadow underneath. And we say, look out, here comes Basketball Kitty, ready to show you what's up. Alrighty, and there it is. So now we can just hide our sketch. We can see how we did with our lines. Throw a few whiskers in there. Maybe you could even give your kitty some funny eyebrows, up to you, right? They add a little personality. Alrighty, well, that was fun. Here's my quick art tip for you folks. Are you ready for an art tip? Check it out. Got this picture of a mug, okay? Now, when you're drawing something that's cylindrical, one of the hardest things to do is to figure out what is this shape here that I'm drawing? Okay, how do you get that curve accurate? Well, what I like to do when I'm drawing these things is draw through them. This is a technique artists use called drawing through. And what that means is I look at this curve and I say, well, what if I were to just keep that going? What would that look like? What is that oval that I'm drawing? And if you draw through it, right, then all you have to do is erase away the bit that you can't see, right? So I get rid of that. And it helps me then to see what I'm really drawing. So if I were going to draw that from scratch, right, this is what I would do. I'd say, okay, here's one ellipse and here's the, the mug heading up. Here's another ellipse. This one's going to be shallower than this one, okay, because it's closer to our line of sight. And then I would just erase this away and voila, now I've got the right shape for the bottom of that mug. And that is your art tip for today. So um, if you have any questions about art tips, by the way, you can always reach out to me again, like I said, on Twitter. I love to um, get some questions about these things so that I can answer them in the show. And let's take a look at what we got today. We've got a B for Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody. We've got a happy little kitten playing basketball. Wonderful. And we've done a little art tip for the day. And that's our show. So thank you for joining me. Thank you very much for being in the chat. I love um, the comments that you guys have. I love your suggestions. It's wonderful. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, and Friday, same time, same place. So come back and join us, and I'll see you then.